It's good to have you here, Mike. So let's start with, I guess, if you want to respond to what Greg was talking about a little bit there, how do you see this year playing out? Yeah, well, you know, the Fed has found itself in a box now. Uh, they're really, um, I think, stuck between the proverbial rock and a hard place with, with the need to increase the speed of quantitative uh, tightening and beginning to get uh, the short end of the curve off of zero, uh, but yet have to be worried about long-term rates. Uh, the economy is so leveraged, particularly the federal government, that having high rates go up whole, the whole a whole lot is going to be a problem. So they're really stuck. I think um, you know we're, we we we've seen what it does as as Tyler just mentioned. We've seen what it what higher rates or the, the threat of higher long term rates has done to the to the technology sector. You know we we just we think two things are going on. One is there's a there's a there's still this sort of path of COVID, although it's becoming more clear every day, um, which which prior to recently has been unknowable. Right, it's been very very unpredictable. Um, and and also this sort of threat of higher interest rates. And we know that large cap tech, mega cap technology companies do very, very well with lower interest rates. So those those long duration assets do great when rates fall. Uh, but banks, on the other hand, with this huge discount to valuation uh, to those mega cap growth stocks have done uh, well when interest rates rise. Okay. So we've we've been now a number of months been barbelled and it's been working beautifully. Sure. So then we mentioned regional banks. In, can you give some examples, maybe the tech companies that you're interested in here with high free cash flow? Well, not, not, those aren't very complicated, right? Those are the Microsofts, Apples, um, you know, Meta, uh, Google, Amazon, and so on, right? They're just cash flow gushers. The the question you have with those is not are they going to be successful. It's really just a question of what price you pay for them. In terms of regional bank stocks, we've been we've been using a broad ETF that helps us cover a big wide array of those. They trade very, very similarly, homogeneously. So, you know, there's, there's, um, there, there are some, um, we like OZK and a few others, but the, the point is that um, if you're building portfolios, you need them to be resilient for different kinds of environments. And right now, the, 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 the environment is exceptionally difficult. So um, we, we continue to benefit from, from having exposure to sort of both ends of that barbell uh, and then, uh, you know, sort of avoiding the great unwashed middle, if you will.